Well, nearly 10 years after the murder of 14-year-old Arushi Talwar, uh, the Allahabad High Court today ruled that her parents, Nupur and Rajesh Talwar, are innocent of killing her and their domestic help, Hemraj. The court gave the dentist couple the benefit of doubt, saying that they could not be held guilty on the basis of the evidence on record. For the parents, this comes as a major victory as they have pleaded innocence from day one. Uh, to talk more about this case that literally the entire country followed and was shocked by the movies being made on it, um, uh, it dominated a lot of drawing room conversation but we're at an important point in this case so i'm joined by pinaki mishra he's advocate for the talwars very good evening mr mishra thank you for speaking with bloomberg quint uh, my first question to you is about the cbi which has uh, not declared yet whether they will challenge it but they've said they're going to think about it and they're likely to so has this really all ended for the talwars you know looking uh, to the track record of the cbi uh and a gigantic egos they've exhibited so far uh, in this matter. I have no doubt that uh, they will try and persuade the government that they should be permitted to go by way of uh, a special lease petition to the Supreme Court. But I think the CBI should beware because the Supreme Court is the Supreme Court. It has vast powers. Uh, you know, under Article 142, they can literally, uh, you know, reorder or uh, decide to have a completely uh, new investigation in this matter, take the CBI to task, take CBI officers who've been responsible for this extraordinary botch up to task, order internal inquiries. Uh, you know, uh, I believe the CBI has, has been guilty of criminal negligence in this case. I believe uh, three directors of CBI who've been, uh, to put it mildly, been incompetent between 2008 to 2010, one director, 2010 to 2012, a second director, and 2012 to 2014, a third director. Three directors of CBI, I believe, have been vastly incompetent. Uh, the parents have repeatedly pleaded with these three directors that uh, please go in for uh, you know some international agency to go in for advanced forensic technology, which we know is available. We, we watch on... On Netflix, you see the forensic files that come on Netflix, blind murders in the United States. The FBI goes the last mile, yes. ensures, ensures that they, uh, you know, find the, the guilty. We could have asked for, uh, you know, they, they, they picked up with great fanfare, if you remember. They went to the, the terrace. There was a palm print of a killer on the wall, which they sort of gouged out with great fanfare and media, you know... No, uh, Mr. Mishra, Mr. Mishra, I, I, I agree with you. A lot of this case uh, and a lot of commentary of this case has been about the botch up of the investigating agency. And perhaps that has been reflected in what the court has said because they've said that there's not enough proof to back what the CBI says. But some would argue it's not a certificate of innocence either. The court basically says that the investigating agency was not able to do its job. But that's a complete certificate of innocence. I'm sorry. The law is, and the you know, the law of criminal jurisprudence is that you're innocent until proved guilty. But the trial court, which is, a, by the way, one of the most perverse judgments, you know, rhapsodic with Shakespearean uh, passages, which I don't think the learned judge himself understood, uh, was complete perversity. And the trial court turn criminal jurisprudence on its head. It said that the Talwar are guilty until, you know, proved innocent. So therefore, uh, there is no question that what the High Court has done is the just thing. And I'm therefore proud that these High Courts are such temples of justice in this country, that these judges have the courage of conviction. And when they see this manifest injustice, that they are able to step right in and do the right thing. Um, in that case, what really clinched it for your clients uh, in the Allahabad High Court because it was the same set of evidence in the trial court. It was the perversity of the trial court, uh, you know, disregard for the evidence. That's the, that's the point. And the, the High Court meticulously examined the evidence. The trial court had made up its mind. You know, there's a, there's a book by this uh, very intrepid journalist uh, called Avirup Sen. He's written a brilliant uh, book on this trial where, where he's just completely savage 
the manner in which this judgment has been written by the trial court. And uh, he proved that the trial court had written this judgment in a completely premeditated fashion. They had decided before the defense even closed their argument. They, they, they closed, they, you know, they closed the judgment before the defense closed their argument. So it's scandalous. And the high court rightly has stepped in. And uh, I believe done wonderful jurisprudential justice. You know, I just want to ask you, uh, Mr. Mishra, because you've been part of the entire journey of this case, and this has been more than just a criminal case. It has been something which, you know, everyone has been talking about, uh, people who are not connected with it, with it at all. It has moved people in one way or the other. And since you have been representing the Talwars, have you had an opportunity to speak with them? What has this journey been like you know, for them? As we speak, I sit here with my very dear friend and colleague, senior advocate Rebecca John. We've popped a bottle of champagne. We're, we're having a glass of champagne each. Uh, we have both been there to see the Talwars in Dasana Jail. They have borne this with the greatest fortitude, with the uh, greatest forbearance, uh, with great courage. And, uh, you know, we, we are just sitting here tonight and uh, looking back at this nine-year journey with these, this wonderful couple. Uh, you know, this nightmare, this, this wonderful couple has, has uh, borne the travesty of justice, the travesty of our entire system, the incompetence, the criminal incompetence of this Indian system. Uh, you know, even today, there are killers out there at large. Two murders have taken place. Arushi, that, uh, you know, the, man, the, 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 the domestic in the house, same guard, who used to treat Arushi like a granddaughter. Uh, he died too. And, you know, our hearts go out for both of them. You there know, are killers out there who killed both of them. And because of this money, you know, that, that's, that's ex exactly, Mr. Mishra. That's that's the question because uh, there has been justice for the Talwars partially. Uh, they still don't know who killed their daughter. I agree, and and, and Hemraj, and where does that go? Because you know, even as we're speaking, people are writing in and they ask. So now, who killed Arushi and Hemraj? I agree. There was a you know, the CBI actually the CBI filed a closure report. Now uh, you know, there's a Talwar who went and said no. We are not accepting this closure report. We want a further investigation. And they are then charge cheated. That's the, you know, that's the irony of this system. You know, it's not, it's not ordinary citizens who suffer this kind of, uh, you know, complete uh, injustice in life to be able to come up with a, you know, with a viewpoint. What, do, what, do, what does an ordinary citizen do? Is he supposed to, is, is Dr. Talwar and his wife, are they supposed to investigate? What are we taxpayers uh, paying our taxes for? So there's a criminal justice system, that there is a, a CBI, which is supposed to be a premier agency in this country, that they are supposed to be the senior investigating agency in this country. But as, it, as you said, Mr. Mishra, CBI was shown up and their inefficiencies were shown up in this case. So is there any hope to really find out who yes, committed this believe, crime? Yes, we believe, as Rebecca and I sit here tonight, uh, you know, both of us are discussing, there is a large amount of... Uh, forensic evidence, I think, still in the possession of the CBI, no matter how badly they must have contaminated it. And, you know, you, despite their monumental incompetence, international forensic technology now, particularly what's available with the, uh, you know, the Americans, no matter how badly it's corrupted, they will get to the bottom of it. They're well, let's hope, let's hope we do too get to the bottom of it eventually. Thank you so much, Pinaki Mishra, for speaking with us.